The Berenstein Bears Visit the Dentist by Stan and Jan Berenstein. Taking good care of their teeth is something all bears do. That's why sis and brother brush and go to the dentist, too. One morning, Sister Bear woke up in the same old bed, in the same old pajamas, and yawned the same old yawn. But something was different. I have a loose tooth, she told Brother Bear. Well, <clears throat> push it back and forth with your tongue and maybe it'll come out, yawned Brother, as he turned over to go back to sleep. Then what? asked Sister. Brother had told her about the tooth fairy and she wanted to hear it again. Then put it under your pillow, and the tooth fairy will take it away and leave a new coin in its place. But, brother added, be sure to tell Mama about it first. Later, at breakfast, when Mama was reminding brother that he had a dentist's appointment after school, she noticed that sister was eating funny. She has a loose tooth, brother explained. When it comes out, said sister, wiggling it with her tongue, I'm going to put it under my pillow for the tooth fairy. If she doesn't wiggle it out, she can come to the dentist with us and he can yank it out, brother grinned. Never mind that kind of talk, said Mama. Dr. Bearson doesn't yank. He's very gentle and very careful. I'll get it out myself, smarty, sister shouted as brother hopped onto the big yellow school bus. But sister was still wiggling her loose tooth with her tongue when she and mama met brother after school and went to the dentist. Dr. Bearson, dentist. It's still stuck, she said, showing Dr. Bearson her loose tooth. Well, said the dentist, I'll have a look at it after I examine brother's teeth. You can stand on this stool and watch, if that's all right with brother. Sure, said brother, as he climbed into the special cub seat and the big dentist chair. She can watch me and see how it's done. Brother had been to the dentist before, and he couldn't help showing off just a little. Sister watched as Dr. Bearson checked each one of brother's teeth with a special little tool. How do you see the backs? she asked. With this little mirror, said the dentist. Here, have a look. Wow, said sister, looking into brother bear's mouth. It looks like a cave, a cave with a tongue. While Dr. Bearson checked Brother Bear's teeth, Sister looked at all the other tools on his work tray. There were little picks, a scraper, a tamper, and oh, a yanker. She had become so interested that she had forgotten all about her loose tooth. She went to work wiggling again. She wiggled hard, but it was still stuck. There were some other interesting dentist things. A water squirter for rinsing, an air squirter for drying, and a little drill at the end of a big hinged arm for cleaning out a cavity. And brother had a cavity. It's just a tiny one, said Dr. Bearson, in the last of your baby molars, but it's best to fill it to keep it from getting bigger. Um, said brother bravely. I'm glad it's not me, thought sister, still wiggling. After Dr. Bearson cleaned out the cavity, he rinsed it with the water squirter and tried it with the air squirter. Then he mixed up some filling cement and filled it. He gently tamped the filling down and scraped it smooth. A final rinse and brother jumped down as good as new. Your turn, he said. Bravely, sister climbed up into the cub's seat, still wiggling, but that loose tooth just didn't seem to want to come out. Hmm, said the dentist, looking at the tooth. Oh, said sister, waiting for him to reach for those big yankers. But while she waited, Dr. Bearson gripped the tooth with a piece of gauze, gave it a tug, and out it came. Sister looked at the tooth. It was very tiny. Dr. Bearson gave it to her to keep. Now it was her turn to hop down as good as new. Don't I get a lollipop or something for being good? She asked brother. You get a balloon, he said. Lollipops aren't very good for your teeth. I brush every day. The next morning, sister plunged her hand under her pillow and found a shiny new dime where the tooth had been. 
The tooth fairy came, she told brother. I told you she would, he yawned. Then she ran into the next room to show Mama her shiny new dime.